Today on iCanAz Armory, how to more easily bend a blade tang with a neat little tool with one of our best armors. So, people who've watched the channel for a while know I did the video where I used the box wrench to bend the tang on the blade. Uh, the problem with the box wrench is not the first bend, either down or in, it's the other one, the either down or in. If I bend this blade down, and I go to side to turn in, if it doesn't line up properly with the wrench, it's, the wrench is gonna pop off and I'm not gonna be able to control it well. Even more worse than that pace. However, a number of years ago, I worked with Matthew Porter, who was one of our national armorers. He's armored Olympics and World Championships for the U.S. team. And he had a neat little device he created years ago. First on 2014, I think it was. 13 or 14 at uh, J.O.'s in Portland. And it's this. Hunk of steel. Has a round base, fits in a piece of uh, PVC pipe. I'll show you later. And this channel to hold the weapon. Hold the tang, rather. Um, he made his by hand. <laughs> I am not that patient. Normally that's skilled. I had it machined. Um, but I'll show you how it works in a second here. Stand by. Okay, so again, we have the uh, the um, steel piece here. It fits into a one foot length of Schedule 40 PVC, three quarter inch wide to allow for a, a, an epee uh, shoulder. So it goes in there. I put the taper in so it fits a little tighter. It doesn't, doesn't fall out when I'm using it. There's that. I'm gonna take my blade, put the other piece of PVC over it, and simply get something to grab onto. Lay tang in the channel, like so, and then put it against the stomach and pull. Watch it bend. Ah! That'd be rather nice. Now, that was in. Let's go down. So it is bent. Let's move the wire, wire, wire of the way a bit there. Again, fits in the channel. Same thing here. Pull it against itself. And there's down. Take it out. And you can see now is a nice down and in. So uh, it works really well. This is a non-FIA blade, a bit really easy. It will work in FIA blades. It's gonna pull a little tighter on it, um, a little harder on it, uh, but it does allow me to much more evenly match a, a can't, a can't on an existing blade of replacing one. Uh, I've had ones where determinants where folks have said, here's four blades, match this can't. Much, much easier with this little tool here. Um, <clears throat> now, as I said before, this is, this is developed by Matthew Porter. Um, so I do not own the rights to this. However, Matthew has very graciously allowed me to, um, to uh, show this to you and to sell the step file I use for machining it. Uh, he gets a cut of the profits. It's 20 bucks. I'll put the uh, how to get a hold of me in the description box below. Um, it's gonna be 20 bucks. I send you the file and you find the machinist because I ain't doing it. Um, it's really, really nice. I've used it a couple times already. It's worked very, very well. Uh, I wish it hadn't taken me so long to uh, make it after copying it, but um, that's it. Nice little tang bender by one of our, uh, our best armors. Happy armoring.